Hello and welcome. He said, she said, food for thought. So the wife came home today after shopping and she came on with this. Some drumsticks. And she were all excited and stuff. Why were you excited? I'm going to tell you why. Because they were only $4.16 and that's about 88 cents a pound because we have about five pounds of meat. Now that's a cracking deal. So what you planned on doing with these? Well, it's kind of funny that you ask because we've talked about different parts of chicken and a lot of people are going for the breast or wings are obviously a huge thing. Thighs have become kind of common, but nobody wants the drumstick. And I think it's kind of funny because that's my favorite part I love, of the bird. I, love the I was the only one that would eat it because it tends to be uh, darker meat, but higher in protein and vitamins. But for some reason, I don't know why, Billy, people don't like to eat the drumstick. I don't know either. So why wouldn't I go ahead and season these up, get them on a baking rack. Are you putting them on that? Cool. I am. Right. And I'm going to bake them instead of grilling or deep fat frying them because I think it's going to be good the way it is. But we're going to experiment with different flavors. Okay. Cool. So, I'm so definitely going to... you're going to use all this stuff? Well, see, a lot of people want to get rid of the skin... But I'm no, thinking... you cook the skin. Right. That's the best bit of the, of the food. I agree with you. If it's crispy, it's We've awesome. We've got sauce and stuff that we can put on it, but I'm thinking about leaving the sauce on the side, getting this really crispy. I've got... I'm thinking more of a Latin flavor because I really like spicy. You like more of the lemony. I do. But there's also the Asian. Why can't we do the same thing with this that you would do with wings? Oh, you could do that. So we're going to see what happens. Cool stuff. Okay, so what are you doing now? So what I'm going to do is go ahead and rinse these off. Anytime you use poultry, you want to make sure that it's rinsed. And the key here is to make sure that they're patted dry. So I'm just going to take this, rinse each piece, put them here, make sure that they dry a little bit, and pat them dry. These have already been cleaned pretty well, but if you see any parts that need to be sort of trimmed back, then you can do that as well. Sometimes you'll get some feathers and all that good stuff. But just some feathers? Shows. I don't want to be eating feathers. What's wrong with you? It's just fresh. That's all that means. So I'm going to take these out, and then I'm going to make sure that they're cleaned really well. Pat them dry, because apparently if you put them in just like this, they're going to be kind of soggy. Oh, don't we soggy. don't want soggy. No, we don't want soggy. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so what are you doing? So I've actually taken down the skin here, and I've stuffed it with a bit of garlic. I'm just going to put a, a little bit of salt, and I'm using kosher salt. I tend to prefer that. Why? Um, it, it's a pure salt. Um, some of the other stuff we already have a lot added to our diet, I feel, in the States, and so it's not as healthy. I'm going to get both sides of these. So let me just take one here. I'm going to take this big guy. Make sure I get both sides. Okay. And then I'm going to stuff them on the inside. So the first versions I was going to make are actually more of a, I guess, Asian flavor. Okay. Middle Eastern. So what are you putting in it? Garam masala. Ooh. I'm putting um, cumin and I'm putting turmeric and I'm doing it under the skin. Now you don't have to do that, but for me, if you want to peel the skin off, it's great, but this is kind of its own little I personal like oven. Skin. So I'm going to do that. A little bit goes a long way. Make sure you turn each piece, make sure each side is salt and peppered, and then we're going to start putting them on the plate or the rack rather. And you're sticking them on there, huh? Yes, I am. And then... How long are you baking them for and what temperature? I've read different things. We're going to try this out. This is our own experiment. I'm going to put them at 400. For how long? I'm going to put them in at 30 and check them. And the reason we're using that rack, apparently it, it's a little bit nicer than um, putting them straight in because there will be some fat that comes off the skin. And apparently it's supposed to help it cook a little bit more evenly. Well, we will that. see. But it's smelling nice already with the uh, bits you're using. So, we will be back. Okay, so, I've just strolled back in uh, the kitchen. So, I'm making a chessboard at the moment. And these look pretty good. So, what's happening with these and what's in them? 
Okay, so these are the first example example that I showed you. It's got turmeric, garam masala. It's got um, obviously salt and pepper. All of these do, and then it also has um, cumin. And then this one is my spicier one that I'm going to keep away from you because it's got red hot chili flakes. It's got garlic, salt, pepper, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. These are mild. These cool. are lemon pepper seasoning. Awesome. And then over here, I've got an example of just Hungarian smoked paprika and some other fun stuff. So we'll see what happens. Cool. Get them in the oven. Okay, so we are into the cooking, and we're going to flip them and stick them back in. It's kind of amazing because you would think that leg meat is actually very fattening, but you can see there's not a lot of oil coming out of it. So I'm going to turn these over. They say 165 is a good temperature for these to be done. They're seasoned on both sides. But I'm kind of surprised because you would think these would, you hear like they're going to be like super fattening, but they're really not. What other calorie ones do you know? About 131 calories. Per leg? Per leg. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. But you, the trick with chicken, they want it at, again, that internal temperature of 165. But I'd rather do it like this and see what happens. Flip them back over in the final end. And if we have to broil them, we will. Cool. So I'm just waiting for our drumsticks to come out of the oven. And over here, I've got two kinds of dipping sauces. Right here, I have a wing sauce that's vinegar-based. We also have a hickory smoked sauce, a little bit of tapatio, and some Worcestershire. Tapatio. Tapio. Tapatio, which mm. is a cayenne pepper sauce. And then over here, I've actually turned my English stubborn husband on to a yogurt-based sauce. This has no fat in it, some lemon juice, some pepper, and lovely blue cheese. Mm. I'm going to put that in. Cheese. I'm going to mix this up cheese with a little bit of it. scallion, a little bit of red pepper over here. I'm going to add jalapeno to mine, but he can't handle it. So that's what we'll be doing, and we'll see how the uh, drumsticks turn out here shortly. Look at these, straight out the oven. We have them with dipping sauces and there's diced spuds, and it's going to taste awesome. So, pretty much. Thanks for watching and enjoy.